What is up guys, Kelly Kevin today back with a brand new episode of 5 new console mods to hit the Bethesda.net website this week. This is going to be episode 411 within my series, but without further ado guys, let's just jump straight into the video. Tempter's Race is going to be the first spot within this video, coming in at 793.2 kilobytes of a download. But this one comes with a huge amount of backstory and dialogue to do with this particular race. If you guys want to have a full read up, make sure to click the link down in the description and have a little look. But this one, not much else spilled out about the HP, stamina and magic that this particular race has as a preset, but a lengthy lore based story if you guys want to read up no gray face or issues with anything clashing with this particular mod such as modded armor upon this one or even gray face with the model meshes and textures to do with the presets of this particular race overall very nice indeed and we'll be covering many more of this model author stuff to be coming to the future of the bethesda not a website for the second spot within this video is going to be lively graphic overhaul this one is coming in at 24.5 kilobytes of a download imperial agent is most common known for doing follower mods but stepped outside of his comfort area and had a little go to do with the graphic overhauls to do with the base game for this one he has attempted to alive brighten and high spirit and removed all pale and tired old visuals to do with the base game for this one all you need to do is download it load skyrim and should be quickly notice the difference from the vanilla the mod author did know the difference from his particular gameplay this does not change your interior lighting but will in sort of enclose everything to do with the outer world that you will venture into now this one that does not conflict or clash with any other different graphic mods i particularly had i know it is a small difference but then again it is a small download size i might keep this one and try and error on a few other different things maybe even attempt to do a comparison video between the two on on and off visually and put them side by side just for my own peace of mind just to know that there is a slight difference if not a difference to do with the game unread books glow this one is coming at 56.7 megabytes of a download this is a ps4 upload of the version of unread books glow scar and special edition found on the nexusmods.com now we do have this particular mod on xbox one it works exactly the same as it would and it's pretty much self-explanatory within the title the all the books that you have unread within the world will glow all different colors which is really nice indeed this is a nice visual to be added to your game and it's a nice person who wants to get sort of 100 percent to do with those books or just wants to dabble in things that they haven't already or even possibly find those particular spell tombs or sort of level ups within the game explorers close is going to be coming in at 77.9 megabytes of a download which personally i feel is a little bit pricey to do with this particular mod now i'm not going to be poking too many holes on this particular one as the original mod is done by alan which has provided us a lot of bangers on the bethesda on the website most of them have been absolutely flawless and finesse but this one i feel it's a little bit strange on how that download size is for something so small to do with this particular mod for instance this one for me changes the skull outfit is the male and the female including the children's one the coat hat gloves and boots to a white shade and that is it it's just a reskin and a slightly different version to do with this particular armor set a little bit baffled on what this actually does uh, again if anyone can let me know i'm probably really wrong but from what i can get from this particular mod going into it a little bit more 77.9 megabytes of a download for a reskin for a vanilla base sort of armor or a dlc armor to do with the people and the village and the children and everything else is very pricey indeed and for the fifth and final spot is going to be another king's port this one is going to be naya or nyan gear to be added to the game coming in at 3.1 megabytes of a download open perms for this particular one so it's all good heading from the nexusmonster.com to the bethesda.net website to grab all of these particular goodies such as the maces shield and bow head under the iron category within any forge these are going to be non-immersive and overpowered please do bear that in mind once upon creating these and taking them into the world i thought these were really cool as a cat lover myself they are pretty sick i definitely did enjoy the bow as your main hand holding the bow itself is integrated within the paw which as you can tell on screen now is pretty cute and pretty funny 
Models, meshes, and textures are absolutely on point. Definitely a fun and interesting mod for anyone who does like cats or this particular sort of thing within the game. So guys, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully guys did enjoy. This has been episode 411 within my series. Guys, if you did enjoy, I'd very much appreciate a like on the video. It does help me out an awful lot. If you're new around here too, make sure to click that subscribe button. Right next to as well, there is gonna be a bell icon. If you click that, you will get a notification for every single time I post a bit of content like this to the channel. But until the next one guys, kill a kev here and kill a kev out.